In the last episode, you might have seen us referring to some SDKFZ221 drawings. These are from an incredible, extensive series called Panzer Tracts, and are the life's work of Hilary Doyle and Thomas Jens. Hilary is a fount of unsurpassed knowledge in the tank restoration scene, and you can find many of the projects that he's currently working on and has worked on in the past by looking into the Wheeled Foundation's YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page. This week on the 221 restoration here at Oz Armour, Al is going to be working on the wheel stations. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. With the help of the drawings that Bo took in the Czech Republic, Al was able to get the chassis together. But it wasn't quite as easy as you'd expect. When we say we had everything, um, basically we just got the chassis skeleton. There's brackets been cut off, you know. This thing was cut into eight pieces when we got it. I've had to build a jig to sit it on to get it as straight as we can. I started on the bench first with the rear end, put it up onto the jig. We had uprights on it to keep it all, the right measurement all the way through. It's, it's for what it is, it's... <laughs> for what it was? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, today we're working on an A-arm. This is the A-arm. This carries the, the wheels. Once this is all together, we're to make up two circles, 140 diameter, with about a 25mm riser, which will centralise the two springs, two springs that come up and go up into the top of the chassis. But then we've got to manufacture all this section out here that will carry the wheel. So yeah, so once this is all done, make the spaces up that go between here to take up the distance, bolt, bolt it on, and then um, we'll design the top, the top ones. Check, check, check. Al had a total of eight of these to make. Eventually he got them all to the point where he could put the next component on. They're basically all I'm doing now, I'm just welding the cotton reels on and just putting a, a thread through them, 16 mil thread, so that uh, it all lines up when we put them on the on the chassis. Which, this is the axle here, this is the axle, goes through on the chassis and we just lock it up with the two big nuts on the outside. But I've got to get them straight so they line up with, with the holes in the chassis over there. And all I do, I'll just put a tack here, tack here, there, there, same thing. And then I'll take them out of the vise and weld them out. Okay. 
Yeah. Al had to fabricate these frames, but we did manage to get original wheel hubs. Unfortunately, they're in really bad condition and gonna take a lot of work to be made usable. It's also a little bit of a puzzle to see how they all come apart. If that would press down, and that would come out, which it's gotta do. But if we go any further, Bo has had a lot of experience with this sort of thing, so he's lending Al a hand. Well, these, are, these are a bit too big in diameter. There's still a lot of old bolts and bearings in there. So Jono got to work pulling them out and replacing them. Uh, we're just putting the hub together so we can mount it, put the drum on and get the enough for the wheelbase. This is our brake drum, right. which goes on there. Hopefully, we'll have to clean it out. So that goes on there and then that goes on there and what we're trying to do is get the centers of the suspension mounted so that we can get the center of the wheelbase because we don't know what the wheelbase of the machine is of what the original one would have been yeah. yeah this was all black and blue and god knows what else yeah so all new bearings and that new bearings yeah yeah, we had to make a distance piece up to go in the bottom of that bearing. Oh, there's a spacer in there? There's a spacer in because we couldn't get the original bearing, which were 28 mil wide. So we've got a spacer up so that when that presses down now, it'll take up and uh, do the job. With the wheel hubs at last at the point where we can mount them, work can continue on with the A-frames because now we have enough together that we can line everything up properly. Yeah, yeah, john has been doing all the, the mechanical stuff on it for me. It's a brand new bearing that they'll be put in a while back. And then this is what hooks onto the actual hub that carries, that carries the axle through into the dif differential. This has to go through there. This big nut goes on here once we put it all on. And then this, this bolt, this bolt onto the hub where the axles come out of and go into the different, the rim fits over that and bolts onto the outside of this one. And once we get all that together, we'll put the bottom A arm in, weld our pieces on that we need to, to carry this main carrier that carries the whole setup, and then to go from there. Put the top piece in. What I'm making are a couple of retainers that hold the the nut that screws onto the to the bearing on the shaft um, stops a nut coming undone. It'll have little tabs on it. Oh, that's the original. That's the original. Yeah, it's pretty oh, sad. Yeah. yeah, not not really usable. <laughs> no, no, no. So we'll make a couple of new ones. Yep. Yeah, out of metal. I love that wood smell. Yeah, nice, isn't it? We'll add 15 mil. 15 mil around the outside. And I'll cut it out.
Okay. You notice I was cutting one way with these? Yeah. Well, because I want to cut that way, these tips won't, won't do it. allow me to do it. So you've got what you call a left-hand pair. So when you when you, you cut it, you're cutting it right, like the other one was doing, see? One's a right and one's a left. So you've got to have two? Two, yeah. Yep. Unless you flip them around the other way. Well, you can't really. Oh, you can't? Oh, I could cut down there and try and come back around, but it's too hard. Yeah, too tricky. Where this is just, yeah. So always have two pairs of tin snips. Two pairs, yeah. When you're making little washes. Right and the left hand pair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. With the four little tabs on. Yep. The idea of that is, when this goes on, these tabs are line up with those holes in the in the in the nut, and then once we screw it on, I get it in position. We bend those up so it doesn't turn. A little bit out, but that's nothing. Nothing runs in there look, to be annoyed by it. This one bolts to that, like the egg. This is, this is the bottom bolt that holds the whole system in onto the main A-arm down the bottom. It just fits inside, inside there, with a 22mm nut on the bottom, which will screw into the, to the A-arm once I put on the little, little brackets. The rest we'll assemble when we do the final assembling, because we don't need the brake drum on there at this stage. It's only just, just adding weight to the job and it's too hard to handle. <laughs> Better do it once, right? Yeah, do it once. Smarter, yeah. not harder. Yeah. <laughs> Jono couldn't make it in today, but luckily Daryl's always ready to lend a hand. When you say A-arm, it sounds like you're not happy with it, Al. Yeah. Same thing like over there, we've got to get the spaces on. Spaces on, put it in the wrong way. Pulling back a bit. Yeah. Take a bit more. Fingers. Okay. Yep. All good. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the carrier that takes the big bolt that I, we showed before. This carries the, the housing here, this big bolt. Then, then we've got to do the work on the top, put the top one in. Yeah. So when I made them... Don't mix them up. <laughs> no, you can't get them messed up. Just you see Ryan, why in a minute. Ah. Oh. I put numbers on them. Yeah, clever. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So you don't mess them up. Okay. They're right. Right, yep. That'll swivel in there. That's the way it goes. This one's got the big hole in with no thread. And this one has a thread in. 12mm thread. And these sit up on here. So when when, oh. when this piece goes on, yeah. this other one gets welded onto this piece and a bolt goes through and that holds... Holds a whole lot in. Holds a lot, to get, a whole lot together. See that? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. See, that's got to go on there like that.
go anywhere. Got the threaded piece on first, which is this side. I made these the other day and these these fit in here. I've got to cut it on an angle. See how I got it slotted? So that allows us to adjust the camber on the wheel. I've got to put the other piece in first. The hub. Yeah, this piece, yeah. Yep, put the hub in, put the nut on the bottom, and then um, got to go that way. The nut will set it at the right height. Yeah. On. Goes back, goes back like that, right? And then we can swivel that. And all I do then is mark that there. And then we cut that, we cut that top section off. And then I weld this to there. Even though this is just a static vehicle, it's still going to take a big effort from Al, Jono and a lot of the rest of the team to get it done and looking schmick. On this project there's going to be a lot more original parts we're going to be pulling apart, restoring and new parts we're going to be copying and fabricating. But that's all we have time for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one.